Hey folks, uh, AJ here. We're back here on my world famous workbench. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate a control system that we're offering on the website now that can turn any Whirlpool pump, uh, one just like this here on the left hand side, any Whirlpool pump into a variable speed pump. Uh, not only will it have a, uh, the capability to have multiple speeds to it, but it will also have a wave control in which the speed will go up and down by itself. You don't have to touch it at all. It'll go up and down by itself. Uh, increasing and decreasing the intensity in a varying time frame uh, to give you a nice little massage uh, selection to you, which is nice. Uh, there's also a temperature display to this system, uh, water level sensors so the pump doesn't come on unless there's water in the tub, and then there's a digital light option as well. So uh, I'm going to show you how everything all hooks up and how it works so you understand it and how you can install it in your Whirlpool bath to get all these features in there nice and easy. Okay, first I want to show you the water level sensor. Okay, uh, on the one side of the water level sensor, you're going to notice that it has the wavy line here. That's your water line. So you want to get this attached to the back of the Whirlpool tub right at your water level, your operational water level, uh, above the jets. Um, make sure it covers the jets and um, not too far up on the tub. Make sure it's below the overflow as well. Okay, so somewhere between the jet line and the overflow, we're going to put this here. Okay, now to attach this water level sensor, you need to do, you need to do two things. Uh, on this section up here, they want a heavy coating of silicone, okay, and then in this channel here, you're going to get some hot glue and um, put it on that side, okay, not to cover the sensor here. Once you get all that done, then put it up against the, the back side of your Whirlpool tub, your bathtub, like I said, in the location where you need to above the jets. Uh, hold it there for a couple minutes until everything adheres and then you're good to go and then you can take it off, okay. So that's your water level sensor, okay. There's also a light kit, and here is the uh, top side control. So let me just slide this pump over here to the side, and I want to show you how everything all hooks up. So I already told you how to do set the water level sensor against your tub, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to wrap the wire around the sensor, okay, to give it the illusion that there's water in a tub, okay, because it is what's called a mass sensor, so it's got to sense mass. All right, so... This is an option. Let me pull this up right here. There's option plugs here, and then there's a display plug. Everything's all labeled. Okay, so we're going to plug this in to the option, and it doesn't matter which one it is. So I'm going to plug the water level sensor into the left option. The wire came loose, so I'm just going to rewrap it here. Okay, so we're good to go as far as that's concerned. Now, the other option that, that occurs here is our digital light. Okay, so it's a three-piece kit. There's the wire, which we got to plug into the back side here. It's a four pin connector. Make sure the pins are lined up good. Okay, there's two pins inside this light, two uh, pin harnesses. So just pick the one, it doesn't matter which one. And then we have the adapter cable here. Again, same thing, four pin. Plug that in there. And we're going to plug our light into the other option plug right there. Okay, now they got these clips too. Make sure you slap those over there. Hold that wire in so it doesn't vibrate loose. Okay, so I'm going to move that to the side. And then the last is our touchpad, which is also has a uh, temperature display. Okay, and we're going to use our red cable for that. It's the display cable. It'll be labeled. And we'll plug that into the back there. Slide in our clamp. And then the other end of the wire goes into our display plug. You guys can see that right there. Snap in our locker. Okay. Uh, this button fits perfectly into an inch and a half hole in your Whirlpool tub. Uh, if by chance you have a smaller hole, you can just open it up with a drill bit or a Dremel tool and just router it out a little bit to make sure that fits in there. Okay. There's a peel and stick adhesive material to the back of it. You're going to just peel off this white guy, pull it all the way off, and then stick it down for a nice waterproof seal. Okay. So that's all the components hooked up right there. Last, of course, is our pump. Make sure our pump, um, the air switch is in the on position. So if you're using a pneumatic pump, uh, make sure the air switch is in the on position so the pump will just come on as soon as you plug it in. Okay. So there's two plugs. Let me pull these over to the screen so you can see it. There's two plugs that come off the back side of the box. Okay. The pump just plugs into the one, and then the other one plug just, well, plugs into the one, and the other one just goes right into your wall. Make sure it is a GFCI protected um, outlet. Okay. That's the way it should be with current code. Okay. So I'm going to plug that guy in right there. 
we're going to take a look at our display here. You're going to get three dashes in the beginning, okay? And then it's going to show its configuration. And for our application, we want to be in configuration 5. As you see, the 5 came up, CO5. All right, so we're in configuration 5. All these will be pre-programmed when you get them, so you won't have to worry about the configuration, okay? Once it goes through the boot up, give it a couple seconds here. going to show our temperature display. I'll just make sure this wire is good here. Wrapped around our sensor. Let me see what we got here. Now we got 79 degrees, so we're good to go after through our, after it went through our boot up, okay? So it's showing the current temperature of the room that we're in right now, 79 degrees, but with your tub filled up, you're going to be in the hundreds, so you're going to see that. Okay, so now we're going to go through our cycles. First, I want to show you the digital light, okay? We'll hit it, and we'll pull this up to the screen so you guys can see it, and it has a color wheel, so it's going to roll through a different color sequence. we got blues, greens, reds, purples. It's very, very nice, okay? 77 degrees. And the timer is 30, so after 30 minutes of use, the pump turns off by itself, okay? And that is adjustable as well. It goes in 5-minute increments from 5 to 30, okay? Now we're going to go through our pump cycle. We hit a button, it takes a second, and then the pump comes on. It shows SP6, okay? That's high speed. So I hit the button again, and I hold it down. You can hear the pump getting quieter. All right, we're going to go all the way down to low speed, SP2, SP1. If I keep it on for another second, it says WA for wave. I want to demonstrate that wave. You see the 29? That is showing, um, you got 20 minutes left in the, in the timer. After 20 minutes, after 29 minutes, it'll turn off by itself. And then you can hear that pump going higher and lower into the wave mode. Okay. Goes down low, then it goes back up again. So it's nice, a varying massage on your back, which is real, real nice. Okay, hit the button again, turns the system off. Okay, light is still on. The light will turn off after 29 minutes as well, or you can hit it off with the light button there. Okay, once you have the system plugged in, leave it plugged in. All right, let me just go through. Now that's our timer for the pump again. It's going to turn off after 10 minutes. SP6, it's going to run like that for 10 minutes and turn off by itself. Okay. I want to turn it off, just hit the button again. Okay. 75 degrees. Let me just demonstrate how to change our automatic timer. It says 10. If I just keep... Whoops. Never mind. Let me turn that off again. Hold on. 75. If I hold it down, now I'm going up to 25. So now it'll be turned off by itself after 25 minutes of use. Okay. Hit it. SP6 and 25. Okay, so that's how to put everything together on this system to turn any Whirlpool pump into a variable speed pump. Now you know how to put it together and how to operate it. Any questions, feel free to give us a call. We are your Whirlpool Parts Authority.